interesting topic that is with the name of poetic devices. So I hope you people are excited to learn this new topic. Let's get started with the definition first. What are poetic devices? Poetic devices are a form of literary device used in poetry. They are basic, they are the essential tools that a poet uses to create rhythm and enhance a poem's meaning or intensify a mood or feeling. So just to add more colors in poetry, a poet usually uses these poetic devices. There are different types of poetic devices like alliteration, hyperbole, personification, metaphor, simile, imagery, rhythm, symbol, oxymoron, onomatopoeia, repetition, and irony, and many more. But today we are just going to learn the basic or the most common ones. So let's get started. The first one is simile. A simile is a comparison of two things using the words like or as. Examples could be as sweet as honey or he was racing like a frightened rabbit. Scout was as brave as a lion. So here the words as brave as a lion is showing the bravery of the scout. Next poetic device that is very common or another example could be as busy as a bee. Then we have metaphors. Metaphor is a comparison in which one thing is said to be another. Example, she is a walking dictionary. More examples could be time is money, the world is a stage, she's a star, she has a broken heart. So all these are the examples of metaphor. So to be in short, what is the difference between a simile and a metaphor? We can say that a simile is a comparison of two unlike things using like or as. Whereas a metaphor is a comparison of two unlike things not using like or example as. Example of simile would be my pillow was like a cloud when I laid my head down. So example of metaphor could be the paintbrush was a magic wand in his hand. Hyperbole. Hyperbole is a great exaggeration to create emphasis or effect. I am so hungry, I could eat a horse. He is as skinny as a pit pig. Is it actually, can anyone eat a horse? No, but to create emphasis or show the extreme of hungriness, the poet might have used this phrase. Similarly, Next is personification. What is personification? Personification is given human qualities to things or ideas. They could be non-living. They could be just things. For example, the tree leaves danced in the wind. The chair stood up straight and tall. The car jumped to the finish line. So here the words like leaves have been given the characteristics of dancing. Chair has been given the characteristic of being tall and car jumped to the finish line. All these are the human characteristics given to things or ideas. The moon was resting in the midnight sky. What is this anyone? Can you guess? Yes, it is a metaphor. Onomatopoeia. 
Onomatopoeia is a word that imitates the sound it represents. Example, crunch, zap, tick-tock, wash, boom, tap-tap. All these are the examples of onomatopoeia. These are the sounding words. More examples could be boom, poof, pow, biff, bam, zoom, crash, pop. I hope people are understanding the poetic devices. So let's move on to the next one that is with the name of imagery. What is imagery? By definition it means anything evoking five senses. The sense of taste, touch, sight, sound, smell. Example something that you can taste, you can touch, you can smell or you can hear. So a poet usually tries to create a picture or an image with the help of words. Example, he ate the bitter goop and watched it flow down the table into the white pile of mush. Imagery helps you to imagine. Then there are different types of imagery. What are they? We have visual, what you see, auditory, what you hear, and aesthetic, what you feel, olfactory, what you smell. And the straight feet, what you taste. Alliteration. Alliteration means the use of the same beginning consonant sound in a line or word. Example, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. So here the sound per, P sound is repeated. Similarly, bees are loved to look at lizards in the aquarium. So, L sound is being alliterated. Illusion. Illusion means that it is an, a figure of speech that makes a reference to people, places, events or literary works directly or by implying them. It is up to the audience to make the connection. He is a real Romeo with the ladies. So that's a reference to Romeo and Julie. So in short, we are giving reference of something to another. Why shouldn't I compare thee to Calafetra? thy beauty, thy charm, thy wit. So here the beauty of the girl is being compared to that of Calipatria. We are you we are rather he is rather trying to say that the girl is as beautiful as Calipatria. The next poetic device is paradox in which a statement appears to contradict itself. Examples could be war is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength, my weakness is my strength. So two contradictory things, they come together in the same line. That is in prose. In poetry when this happens, it is called as oxomoron, two opposite terms, a peaceful war, a generous cheap state dark sunshine, tragic comedy, unbiased opinion, virtual reality, definite maybe, stop, keep moving. So these two opposite terms when they come together, the poet uses them or anyone uses them to create emphasis, these are called as zomoron. The next poetic device is symbolism. By definition it says an object, character, figure or color 
that is used to represent an abstract idea or concept. Example, Dumbo's magic feather represents courage and self-confidence. Once he truly believes in himself, he no longer needs it as a physical, psychological crutch. More examples of symbolism could be Dove is a symbol of peace. Eagle is the symbol of freedom, liberty. Similarly, rose is a symbol of beauty. Crown is the symbol of wealth, world, royalty. Sunrise is the symbol of new start or beginning. Full moon usually symbolized as danger. In autumn, middle age or maturity. So all these are the common symbols that are usually used. Apostrophe. In literature, apostrophe is a figure of speech, sometimes represented by an exclamation, such as O. Oh. A writer or speaker using apostrophe speaks directly to someone who is not present or is dead, or speaks to an in animated object. Example, is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand come let me clutch thee i have thee not and yet i see thee still feet don't fail me now twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are so all these are the examples of apostrophe So just to recap, I hope you must have learned a lot up till now. So let's see, just to revise, what is a simile? A simile is comparing two unlike things using the word like or as. Example could be, he is as brave as a lion. Alliteration, the repetition of the sounds at the beginning of the same word. The example could be, she liked listening to the lessons taught by her teacher. So here the word la is being repeated or in the Pied Piper example, the per sound was repeated. Onomopotopia, words that mimic sounds like by, click, hyperbole. Extreme exaggeration used to make a point. I am uh, so hungry that I can eat a horse. Imagery, words that appeal to the five senses. That is touch, taste, sight, sound and smell. Oxomoron, use of unexpected, unmatched or opposite terms. Like for example, can you give me an example of a glomeron? Stop and keep moving. So we can say the life does not stop, keeps on moving. You must have heard this phrase very common. Personification, given human characteristics, is something non-human. The moon was resting in the sky. Metaphor. A direct comparison of two unlike things using the verb to be. Like for example, he is a superman. So, these were the common poetic devices that we have just learned now. Just to summarize it, poetic devices can help poetry and take it to a new level. Hope you have learned the importance and the uses of these poetic devices. Thanks for watching.